Okay, so you guys have been watching me do some stuff with my spear. I've got a collection of iron weapons. These are just basic iron weapons. And I put on this Defari outfit so you can see this. Uh, you notice it says bonus strength, low grade light. Um, this is the low grade stuff. Okay, so uh, later on, you know, you'll get the upper grade stuff, upper grade armors like these. Raider armors, uh, Nordheimer armors, the greater civilization armors, and then these exile epics. These can be uh, created by um, thralls if you get named thralls and stuff. So uh, if you want better equipment than what you got, you know, that's named thralls. But that's not what we're focusing on here. We're going to uh, take out some enemies. There's a Defari camp right there. So I'm going to show you some basic basic stuff. You guys have been show you what it does. So the main combos with things is this. You got light attack, you got a heavy attack. Okay? I turned up the stamina a little bit to kind of, you know, do some 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 uh demonstrations here. But your stamina, you want to watch out because see, every time you kick or Dodge. See how much stamina it takes? Well, even with it turned up, it took up a lot of stamina. So, you want to make sure that you savor what stamina you can get. Um, you also lock on to target by pressing Q, which I showed you with the crocodile earlier. But I'm going to go take out some rock noses with the spear and show you what it does. A quick combo real quick. Which you can start off with, you can go heavy tech followed up by one two and then that so when you come up to an enemy with a spear you go heavy two light attacks and then finish off with a heavy and it'll do a combo and she'll add a debuff to the enemy so heavy two lights heavy see how she went yeah and did that red you see that red line you see a weapon make a red line, that means it makes a bleed effect. Cool thing about a uh, spear also is, let's go run over here to these hyenas and aggro them. There's two of them. So if you have multiple enemies, I mean, I still got hit. See how it's got cripple and bleed? He had those, he had those uh, debuffs on him. And both of them did, because I did the combo on both of them. And this is an AOE weapon. It's a long-range weapon. So, I'm going to do it to this rock nose over here. Rock donkey. If you have an opponent, multiple opponents, it's good to have a long weapon like this. I had to duck out of the way because he was going to do his heavy attack. Oh! See? Bleed. Cripple. Sometimes they can get the jump on you like he did. But you see how he's rearing up for an attack? You kind of have to watch that. It doesn't give you any warning like it does in ESO. Where you go, oh, they're grinding up for a big attack. I better duck out of the way. They don't do that in this game. You pretty much kind of have to watch your opponent and duck behind them and take advantage of them. So, spears do uh, pole arms and spears. They do cripple, which slows your enemy's uh, movement speed, and bleed, which does a uh, damage over time effect. Okay, up next, let's try another two hander. This is the Iron Warhammer. Now, this does, if you look at its mid grade, Sunder. Okay. Now this one's a little bit weirder to use. What this does is it's slow. See, it's very slow, but when you get in a heavy attack, uh, it sunders, which breaks down their armor, which makes them easier to damage, the more damage they can do. It's also very slow, as you can see. I got hurt fighting there because, you know, it was a slower weapon. 
also if you have multiple opponents this is a really good weapon to have if you're wearing heavy armor and multiple opponents if you're not wearing medium or heavy armor you're using light armor like what I'm wearing here with the Stafari stuff it's not such a good weapon to use because you're gonna get hurt more than you can more than you can hit so it's a slower weapon and uh, much better if you're using heavy armor I don't want to put on heavy armor because I'm already weighted down so uh, you know I guess I can throw it out you know but uh, yeah, so that's that's that. That's an iron warhammer. Okay. Um, next up, let's see. Iron war axe. Iron war axe is one-handed, as you can see. When we look at this, it does shield smash. So if something comes up against you with a shield, you can smash them. Um, this is also used in conjunction with a shield, which. She's got on an iron targe right here. The way you block with that is with the control, see? She's blocking. Now, if they have something with shield smash, like a uh, mace or something with sunder, they can cause some problems too. So you don't, so you want to try and make use of block and dodge. Let's go see what these Defari have in store for us. So I'll see if I can grab one of them's attention and have them go and run over here. Might have to run over there and get him. I don't know. Let's see if we can grab their attention. Also, when raiding a camp, See how he's got a shield, but I use that, and he's got a bleed effect now. See how I did a purple? That was a that was a bleed effect and shield smash. So that's how you do that. See, even though he had a shield, and it lagged a little bit there, I was able to hurt him. Somebody's shooting at you with arrows. You can get behind. Not doing much ducking. Oh, I was gonna say you could uh, just hide behind this rock, but then I remembered, <laughs> Daniel, you're wearing a shield, so that's not a good demonstration to show you. You know, not not going after with a shield, with uh, arrows. All right, let's see if we can aggro somebody else that has arrows. All right, there, this guy. See? Arrows get blocked off. Now I did mess up a bit, or otherwise I wouldn't have this arrow in my back. So it takes a little practice with the blocking. But as you can tell, it blocks the arrows and it blocks attacks because you also get an achievement for blocking attacks. So axes do bleed and shield smash. Okay, so we're going to take off that axe and we'll replace it with this other axe. This is an iron axe. It's the same as the war axe, it just doesn't do as much damage. So let's go over here and hope we don't run out of enemies too soon. All right, th there's a guy coming. Oh. It also knocks them down, see? Sundered, see? Yeah. 
see? And that's how you block. I even got sundered. So sometimes your block still doesn't go through. It still goes through. But your axes do bleeds and they do shield smashes. So if something's coming against you with a shield, you can take care of that. All right, iron broadsword. Now if we look at this one, this one does cripple. Swords do cripple, which means it uh, will decrease their speed. Oh, here comes something interesting. Here comes a sandstorm, and I want to show you how dangerous these can be. You see the shadows flitting, you're like, what is that, birds or something? No, that's a sandstorm. And you'll be trying to go over and try to find shelter. And if it doesn't say shelter, you're not in shelter. You need to run and find shelter quickly. Otherwise, if you get caught out here, this will start damaging you slightly more and more and more until it kills you. And I hope I don't die because I was just giving a weapons demonstration and this sandstorm came up. You need to find something with walls. See how it says shelter, but it's just a tiny bit. You need to find something that is fully sheltered, either in your house or a fully enclosed canyon. I know of a place over here. If you don't get to cover soon, see how you get a duck by pressing C. See how it says shelter over here in the corner? And it's white, so there's a little house and it's white. It's because, look, I see I'm ducking under. You have to have a fully enclosed top. Sometimes you can use a tent, but I don't have one on me. If you don't make it back to your house, or you don't find a place like this, that sandstorm will kill you, and you cannot see. The only way you can survive a sandstorm is if, number one, you have one of these. A sandstorm mask. Or if you are a priest of Set. Let's so show you Set real quick. If you're a priest of Set, uh, and you have the Setite mask, it also does the same thing as the Sandstorm mask. Otherwise, if you don't have that, or you don't have a, the Sandstorm mask, you've got to run for cover like this. Hightail it somewhere that's enclosed like this, has a top that you could duck under. It's not duck behind, it's duck under. So if you have a tent or something like that where you could duck under, you duck under until that debuff that says sandstorm underneath where it says shelter. You see where it had said sandstorm and now it doesn't. Now it's safe to come out. Only then is it safe to come out. See, even though it's blowing a little bit and how dark it gets and everything. Until that debuff that says sandstorm is over, do not step outside. Do not step out of cover. Uh, without a sandstorm mask or a sedite mask, otherwise you will die. It will burn you down until you die, and then you'll be stuck trying to run back to wherever your body is from your bed or your bedroll. And that that can be bad news, especially on a server with multiple people where they can pick up your stuff. So okay, let's go back to broadswords. All right, since we were so rudely interrupted by a sandstorm, it starts getting dark and you see those little shadows flitting across. That's a sandstorm and you need to book it. You need to book to a uh, safe place. Duck under. And always look for places when you're going out and adventuring stuff like this right here. This may be a good shelter too, see? This is an okay shelter. You'll still get hurt. See how it's not fully co covered? So even though, you know, that's a pretty good place, it wasn't completely covered, so you'd still take some damage. 
And you think, well, why can't you just eat or take a Mithra potion or something so it heals you? Because the minute you start taking a little bit of damage, you stop bandaging, you stop healing. So, all right, let's go take care of this bird over here. There's an enemy. I'll show you what a broadsword does. See? He crippled him. Now, he couldn't... Uh, because I he was going to charge me, and because that's why he was flapping his wings and, and cawing at me, he was going to charge at me. But since I did that attack, it crippled him. So I'm going to do the same thing with this bird. Uh, see? It messed up his charge. He can charge at me. So if you do a heavy attack first with a sword, is your initial at starter, you'll charge at your enemy and interrupt their charge if they're a charging charging enemy. This bird's wandering all the way over there. I don't know what it's doing. The AI is amazingly weird at some times. Okay, I'm going to go up here and fight some Defari. Normally there's some in this little camp up here. Uh, uh, oh, there's one. He's like... Yeah, yeah. And it does a knockdown. I didn't wait for him to shoot. He was going to do a long shot. And I didn't wait. That's why I got shot in the kidney. But see, you'll charge forward with a sword and uh, cripple them. So you'll interrupt a charge if you are up against something like a rhino or something that does charges, like charge attacks, then uh, you can interrupt their charge using a sword. All right, up next, let's see. Uh, mace. Mace is the same thing as the two-hander. It uh, does shield smash. Let's go see if we can... Oh, oh, we got a couple of them. Man, there. This was. As you can tell, it's not good for multi. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, I might die here. <sighs> okay, Archer, you're about pissing me off. <sighs> Finish him. Sundered armor. There you go. Woo! Fatality. That was a fight, y'all. That was a fight. Ooh. So as you can see, it takes some practice. You gotta let's see what's in their box over here. Ooh, war paint. Let's take that. It takes some practice uh, with these weapons and stuff. But once you get the hang of it, you know it's you can do pretty good. Is there a rock nose nearby? No, I guess I killed that already. Okay, I'm regenerating back some health before I show you the rest of the weapons. So the mace does sunder armor. Uh, it doesn't do a knockdown like the sword and the axe does, but it doesn't need to because it knocks them back. As you'll notice, they went, ooh, you know, and kind of went back. That's because it does that and it does sunder, which ruins their armor. So if you're going up against a heavily armored opponent, like these rock noses, or like rhinos or elephants that have lots of uh, armor and everything, or opponents on PvP, if, uh, you know. Hmm.
see. You have to really watch what your opponent's going to do. <laughs> I'm not really, really used to fighting with a shield. That's why I kind of suck. It's not the uh, shield and the weapon sucking. You're like, that looks like it sucks. That's because I suck. <laughs> so it's not the weapon. It's me. Okay, let's bring ourselves back up to maximum health. Okay. So that's the mace. Okay, up next. Okay, so that takes care of uh, the, the sword and board combos, you know, with the, with the shield. I'm going to put that on this Defari War Paint because it's rocks. If you ever see one of those Defari War Paints, make sure you put it on. Not only does it look good, it gives you bonuses to your strength and stuff. So, alright. Now up next is a kind of a weird one. The daggers. The daggers have a lot of mobility and the bleed effect. So, you have to really, it's a good idea to really use that Q when fighting stuff with this because you can lose your target pretty easy. And you gotta duck. Used to, you could uh, stun lock, but I think they fixed that. Because as you can see, I could not stun lock that guy. Daggers are really much going to have to use your mobility. It's a big mobile thing. It's uh, if you go up against multiple opponents with these things, uh, they have a trouble hitting you because you're, you know, just all over the place. You want to make sure that you keep your cursor on your target, though, because. Uh, it's real easy to lose your target if if uh, you're doing all that mobility. And you can get them pretty damn fast, see? Like, a, like that, you know, you can you get them down pretty damn fast because they, they have a hard time hitting you, and it's got some knockback to it. So daggers also do bleed, so even if, and, and they do a lot of bleed, they stack bleed. So sometimes if you got multiple opponents, which uh, I don't think enough of them has respawned yet, but if you got multiple opponents, you can just go shoo shoo on one of them, shoo shoo on another, and then sh on another. And pretty soon they're all bleeding to death, and you don't even have to fight them, fight them. They just they bleed to death. Now here's one that I'm going to, uh, the next one is the bow. And bows come in a variety of things. You have to have arrows. Okay, and there's no way to really tell your ammunition. There's nothing that tells you how much ammo you got left. I've got these iron head arrows. And the way you load your bow up is you grab them and you drag and drop them to the same slot you got your bow. And you'll see these little arrows right here that says that you've got arrows. However, there's nothing here that says how many arrows you've got left. So it's real easy to lose uh, track of your ammo if you're uh, if you're not good at it. This is affected by, the rest of these are affected by strength, which is why this Defari is a good set for strength. So if you're going to use a sword and shield or a spear or a two-hander uh, mace or, or spear, this Defari set is really good to use. But if you're going to use a bow, that uses strength, see? So it plus tries the strength. But if you're going to use a bow, it uses accuracy. Which, uh, I got some points, but I don't have any points in accuracy. So my accuracy is going to be a little off. Also, the best set for this, if you're going to be an archer, would be this raider set, the Stygian raider set, which is down here. It unlocks at level 30. Oh! Oh! oh. 
And what did I say earlier about... <sighs> Shit. Oh. 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 Alright. Ow. Run, Forrest, run! I'm gonna have to stagger off. Hopefully they'll leave me alone. Till I can regroup. It's not gonna do much of a demonstration getting killed. Are they gone? Okay. <laughs> Once again, what I was telling you, don't look at this menu when you've got enemies around. Make sure you're in a relatively safe spot. <sighs> anyway. <sighs> Jeez. Sorry about that. I'm a dork. Okay, this Raider armor. Stygian Raider armor. This is made with medium leather and chitin, and it's unlocked at 30. And um, this boosts up your accuracy. I still hear music. Are they still after me? Or did they run back? Oh. Okay, so the thing about the arrows is this. They don't really do a whole lot of damage, but they cripple you. Now your heavy attack just does more damage and leans back. If they're moving, it's very hard to hit. It's mostly what I was doing. There, see? It's kind of hard to hit with this with no accuracy. But you can tell you hit him. Because he'll go, Ugh! And you kind of have to... Ugh. Ugh. Kind of have to aim where your arrow is going to be. And kind of arc it. Unlike straight shots, they, you know, until you get some points in accuracy, it's kind of <laughs> hard to use a bow. Now, depending on how many C, I'm down to four arrows. The bow isn't really what does much of the, the does the damage. Now, it does. It does a lot of damage. Um, like, uh, this is a just a simple hunting bow. If I had the light Herakian, uh, Hard Hardonian bow, however you say that, it would do a lot more damage. Now, my main thing is this. If you're going to be an archer, thinking about being an archer character, worship Set. And I'll show you why. Set has these cool... This cool ability... to turn snakes into arrows. Snake arrows. And the cool thing about this is they do poison damage. So the way you do this is if you worship set or you have opened up the set worshiping thing. So you open up set and you're a priest of set. Snake arrows. These are crafted at the carpenter's bench. Now they only do health damage of six, but they apply poison. So let's go back and see if we can f kill this guy. Feel. I don't know why this guy is wandering off so far away. The AI is so weird in this game at times. No ammo. See how it did normal? But then it ran out of ammo. So I'm going to trade in the snake. And it didn't do, didn't slow him down at all. He's going to go over there and aggro that boss. I swear if he runs over there and aggroes that boss, I'm going to laugh. 
Is he is he gonna go over there and aggro that boss? I swear to god that NPC is running gonna run over there and aggro that boss monster. Okay, it doesn't aggro to him. Oh wait, wait, maybe. He is walking right up to that boss. And not attacking or being attacked. What the? Okay, y'all, that is just weird. I have never seen the AI do that before. I honestly don't know if it's weirded out because of one of the mods I'm using. Or if the game is just really that weird. But he just walked all the way around that boss monster and didn't get attacked or attack. See how he's poisoned? That's where the damage comes from. So as long as you keep hitting them, they keep getting poisoned. And see? And he's dead. I tell you though, the uh, arrows, sometimes you can get more arrows from people when you when you get them. Now the bow is probably, if you don't have any points in accuracy, the bow is probably the strangest weapon to try and use because you really have to aim this thing uh, like I just showed you. You can't just line up the dot to their head and shoot you have to you have to aim it you know and if they're a moving target like this guy walking yeah see I missed him I feel like I'm playing Widowmaker and Overwatch haha <laughs> And you have to make sure you get a lot of distance and duck. And also, as usual, keep track of your ammo and keep track of your distance and your stamina. Sometimes they just stand there. It's See how much damage it's doing because of the poison? Ooh. So this is a good way to, uh, with these poison arrows, is a good way if you put another uh, like say you got uh, so you got this on or say you got your axe you know you're an axe user and you got a bow use a bow as a secondary weapon oh if you can reach them sometimes they're behind cover you can't reach them like that. That's a good attention getter though. Because you kind of go, hey, I'm over here. Ah, there you go. Two handed sword. This is the next one. This, you can use a sword. This is the same as you could like that. Two handed swords, I almost forgot about. <laughs> Two-handed swords do a lot of damage and they're AoE, just like the spear. They chop, however, they don't charge. So if you go chop, swing, swing, it does a cripple effect and you can take out multiple opponents. Like that. You don't need your shield. <laughs> so you get, if you can, like I did there. Let's see if I can get these guys. Shoot them. And then... Whew. Make sure you're good with the dodging, though. Because, man, they will... Like that. Whew. I think that guy's behind cover. Yeah. I think he's behind cover. Oh. Yeah, sometimes, for whatever reason, there it is. Mm. 
See how he went through my shield? So yeah, you gotta be careful of that with swords. Swords go through shields. So yeah, that's what I was trying to show you, is you can pull, if you want to just pull, you know, one opponent at a time or something, you can. And that's, that's how you do it. You can go for your bow, you know, shoot into the camp, go, ugh, once they get their attention, switch to your shield in one hand or your two-hander and finish them off, you know. And if you use those uh, serpent arrows, it poisons them, so they're running at you, rawr, you know, and they're poisoned, so they're, <laughs> so it's like poisoning them. And uh, they have a really rough time trying to fight that off. So that's basic weapons. Uh, bow and arrow is probably the uh, hardest to get a hang of. Uh, the rest of the weapons seem to be uh, pretty easy to get a hold of and get a pretty basic understanding. And, you know, like, oh, that's how you do that, you know. <laughs> so uh, it's good to use even if you don't have very many points in accuracy. Use a bow and arrow to, um, to grab your opponent grab your opponent's attention and uh, pull them for the rest of the group or pull a monster away from the rest of the group or something if they're close by other enemies like he was close to that scorpion and I wouldn't want to aggro that king scorpion so what you do is you just you, know, you start off like these hyenas over here see See, you can pull them to you, and they, of course, some of them, they, they group up like these hyenas. Like this rock nose. Oh, no ammo. See, I ran out of ammo. There's nothing there that tells you if you're running low on ammo. That's something you got to be very careful of when you... Um, when you're a bow user. And some people, why don't you just put your arrows on the uh, bow? Because once you load them in your bow, uh, they they disappear from your <laughs> from your your hotkey bar, so you can't see it. So there's, uh, maybe somebody will make a mod or something sometime where you can see your arrows and uh, and take care of it that way. But other than that, uh, there's no real way to um, check your ammo for your bow. That's just something that you got to watch for when you're going to use your bow. But it's always a good idea to have a bow as like an attention getter. And then, you know, use your shield in one hand or a two-hander and, uh, you know, finish them off. And if you're going to be a, a pure archer, it's always good to... Uh, have a backup, you know, close range weapon too. Uh, use your Stygian Raider armor. That's your best armor you can use if you're going to be an archer. And uh, learn the set religion. If you are not a set worshiper initially, you can find the set priest up here in this part right here. Um, there's some ruins and like dark colored ruins and he is up at the top of those stairs you can't miss him there's a great big bonfire and a guy walking around with a sedite white sedite mask and armors and stuff so if you want to be a pure archer those snake arrows are really good to have so I guess until next time I'll just uh See you later. <laughs>